Hey guys, what's up? It's all Oddzilla, and I'm back with another video. I'd like to thank you guys for showing love on my first four videos of Next Gen. And now we've got some more information, you know, to go along with builds. So I'm bringing out another build, and this is my best center build. And I mean, it's good for Park, Rex, Pro Am, good for any game mode. And if you guys would leave a like, subscribe, comment, I would appreciate it. Now let's get straight into the build. Now for us to play center, we're going to go power forward. It just gets crazy amount of badges. You know, right handed, left handed, doesn't matter. I always pick 11. Now height, I'm going to go 6'9". My weight, I'm going minimum. So I'm going to be a little faster. Wingspan, 7'7". Seven, seven. Body shape does not matter, but I rock with defined. Here we go. Now my close shot, I'm just gonna skip that. Driving layup, I'll max it. My driving dunk, I'm gonna go ahead and max it. Standing dunk, I'm gonna go ahead and max that out. Post control, we want 22 badges, so there we go. I have a 30 post control, so now I have 22 finishing. I'm gonna go ahead and max my three pointer out, which raises the mid range. You know, go ahead and max it out. Free throw, we want 10 badges, so 57 in free throw to get us 10 badges. So we're rocking with 32 total badges right now. Now we'll go ahead and max out our pass accuracy, your ball handle, and speed with wall. So there we go, now we got 23 playmaking badges. Now the interior defense, you don't need interior defense on this game. To contest shots in the paint and the perimeter, you just need block. So as long as you max out your block, you will be fine. So we're going to go ahead and max perimeter, steal, we're going to go ahead and do block. We're going to max out our offensive rebounds and then max out our defense. So now we got 26 badges, which that's a pretty good amount. So we're rocking with, what is that like? It's like 81 badges. So 81 total badges for your center build. Now our speed, we're going to go ahead and max it. Acceleration, we're going to go ahead and max it out. Our strength. We'll max it. I'm going to skip vertical for a second. Max this out. Alright, just making sure. And now we got an 86 vertical. And now we can just kind of toy around. I mean, you can't... We're not gaining any badges anywhere, so... It's just kind of where you want to throw it. So, I just... I'll just throw it to post control. It. I mean, you can throw your free throw interior. It doesn't matter, but... 22, 10, 23, and 26 badges. That's a great layout. Whew. Now, what, what takeover? I mean, we got our, we got our slashing or shooting. We even get play. We can get playmaking. And let's see. I want rebounding to start out. So, miss shots. I'm going to do box out wall. Just so that, you know, if somebody does get in position, that I can just swim them easy and get the boards. Because more than likely, you can tell where the offensive board's going anyway. So, you don't really need to see where it's going. So, I'm going to rock out with box out wall. And then, I just love getting contact dunks and layups. So, I'm going to do finishing moves. But, I mean... You know, you could you could do that and get double, same one. Or maybe you want to shoot. So you want limitless range. But I am going to do finishing moves. So those are my two takeovers. Box out wall and finishing moves. So let's see what we built. We have built a post playmaker. Now, I haven't seen any of these out in the park or rec so far, so... You do have kind of a creative name. 
And now let's uh let's get straight into the badges. Go ahead and do that. And you will get a plus four, you know, to all your defense playmaking shooting finishing. So I mean we're gonna have ninety nine rebounding block, driving dunk and standing dunk, so we will be crazy in the paint. Now we're gonna start with the finishing. Of course, Hall of Fame posterizer. Now, rise up is a little is a cheesy badge because it just lets you rise up and dunk over everyone. Because contact dunks are crazy on this game, so rise up, you definitely want that. I'm gonna do slithery, you know, just in case it doesn't give me that contact animation. I'm gonna rock with Hall of Fame finish or er, Lob City. Just because I love I love those animations. Now every time we dunk, you know, score inside, I want additional takeover. So that's why I pick Heat Seeker. And then I want Fearless Finisher. <coughs> now you might want maybe you want highlight films so you want to take down Lob City or something, but these are the badges that I recommend doing. So this is what this is what I would rock with for my finishing badges. Now my shooting, I'm gonna go deep threes, hot zone hunter, and see catch and shoot. And for my last badge, I'm gonna do green machine. Now there are a lot of new badges for shooting, so maybe you want more. Maybe you're gonna pop a lot, so you want to do your set shooter. Or maybe you don't think you're gonna, you know, shoot very many deep threes. So maybe you want a little slippery off ball to get the slips a little faster. You know, maybe you want a little more green machine. But these are the badges I would go with. And you don't need many shooting badges to be a consistent shooter on this game. So this is a great spread to be able to pop. Now, playmaking. Now, let's see, we can't, we don't get the great animations for, to us, uh, to really, you know, break down our ISO our guys, so, but I will do goal first step, I'm a team player, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Hall of Fame Dimer, and I'm gonna pass the ball quickly, so I'm gonna Hall of Fame Bullet Passer, I'm gonna do just Bronze Break Starter, because you don't really need that one, too much especially if you have a high pass accuracy i'm gonna do bronze bailout you know just in case just in case somebody closes out real quick you need to pass it i'm gonna help my teammates out get a hall of fame floor and then this is really cheesy badge special delivery so i'm gonna do that one i'm gonna do needle threader on bronze and unpluckable on bronze now this one, if you do flashy passes, it especially in the Hall of Fame, it'll fill up the takeover meter so fast. So I highly recommend this badge. So, but these are the playmaking badges I would run with. You can change it up a little if you want to, but this is what I would go with. Now we get 26 defense defensive badges. Um, of course, Hall of Fame rebounding. I go with Hall of Fame Rim Protector, Intimidator, I would go Gold. The Ankle Breakers are a little crazy on this game, so in case you get switched out onto a guard, or maybe you're playing twos and the center, their center, big man, likes the ISO too, I would at least put this on Silver. My Brick Wall, I'm putting on Gold. Chase Down, just on Bronze, just to get the animations. My clamps are maxing out on gold. I'll do silver interceptor. I want to get more takeover. So I'm going to do uh, gold. Let's see. Gold Raider. Or actually, I did silver clamps. Because I want silver pickpocket. But you could do bronze and have gold clamps. But we shouldn't be guarding ball too much. So I'd probably do this. Or maybe, maybe you don't care about the more takeovers, so, you know, you do more interceptor or more clamps. But, you know, every time you get a block, 
you'll get more uh, takeover for Rim Protector and Hot Stopper. So if you get it, you know, every time you're making a defensive play, you will be getting more takeover. So that's why I want Gold or Hot Stopper on Gold. But you know, if you guys make this build, you know, tell me how you feel about it. You know, I think this is a great build. I think this will be my big build because I have my point guard already. But tell me what you think. You know, appreciate you guys' love on all the other videos I've made so far. You know, if you haven't got a console yet, I hope you guys do. I like this game. There are a few things to fix about it, like rep and the choppiness in park. But, you know, if they fix those, I think this will be a great game. But thank you guys, and peace out.